We all have a thyroid and its hormones help determine how fast we burn calories and how fast our heart beats. But more than half of us could be walking around with something called a thyroid nodule and not even know it. In this month's Health Check, Cerise Cole explains what a nodule is and what we all need to know about it. A lingering cough brought Bonnie Errett in to see the doctor. A CT scan revealed her lungs were healthy. Uh, they had found this solid mass on my thyroid. That mass turned out to be a thyroid nodule, a fluid-filled growth on the thyroid. Turns out they're pretty common. If you just would take a sample of the population, perform ultrasounds on their necks and look at their thyroids, anywhere from 20 to 70 percent of people have thyroid nodules. Dr. Sullen says if you have a thyroid nodule, chances are you won't even know you have it. That's because most of the nodules are even smaller than this one. Those tiny nodules can pose the biggest problems. With no signs or symptoms, they can go undetected for years. Most of them aren't cancers, but there's some that are. And obviously, if treated early, they're curable. If not, there's a potential risk of death from thyroid cancer. So it's important to find those and and treat them early. If the nodule grows large enough, it can press on your windpipe, making it hard to breathe and difficult to swallow. It can also affect your thyroid activity, resulting in weight, heart rate, muscle, even mood changes. Treatment depends on the type of nodule. The surgeon went in and removed this part of the thyroid and took all of that out. Bonnie needed surgery six weeks later. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. Yeah, everything is good. She's recovering nicely and thankful her thyroid nodule was found with no signs of cancer. In Fremont, with photographer Mike Plews, Cerise Colt, Channel 6 News. Only 5 to 15 percent of thyroid nodules are cancerous, but because there's no screening to detect the nodules, Dr. Salon recommends routinely checking your neck to see if you feel anything abnormal and making sure your doctor does the same during physicals.